So the thing I want you to see there in Genesis says evening and morning uh, was the first day is that that's out of order, right? As far as how we would think it in a Western mindset, we think that when the sun comes up, that's the beginning of the day. And then when it's dark, that's the end of the day. But in Genesis, it has it the other way around, saying that the evening and the darkness is the beginning and the end is the light part, uh, which goes all the way back to when you think about the very first day, how did it start? Void, dark, right? Because the light had to enter. And so all the way from the very first day, it started with darkness. And then when the light came in, that was the end of the first day. And so that is actually the proper way to understand it. We're just so used to it the other way, it's hard for us to think of it that way. But in reality, everything started with the dark. Then the light came, and that was the completion of the first day, is when the light came. So, uh, yeah, you start in the womb, which is dark, and you go to light. Uh, salvation, you start in darkness. Uh, and then you, the Bible talks about salvation as being in the light of Christ. Um, it says, the entrance of my word uh, bringeth light. Um, born being born again. So I guess the, the spiritual application, so the, the first part I wanted you to just see that, that in the Jewish mind, and particularly even in the way that Genesis is written, it begins with darkness and it's cult, you know, culminates with the light part of the day. Right, so, so this is the beginning of tomorrow, because it's dark right now. So we have just entered in to the first hours of the next day. And so our, our previous day ended when it got dark. Um, and so the day begins when the darkness comes. Um, and so, but I guess the application is that in our... Yes, it is. So your papers now are going to be due a little <laughs> sooner. Uh, yeah, and so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at sundown is when you know it, the next day starts for them. So they were going to break everybody's legs um, on the cross. So their Sabbath, whenever they would celebrate the Sabbath, would actually start Friday night. So the Sabbath would run, would run Friday afternoon when it got dark all the way till Saturday afternoon when it got dark. And so that's how they celebrated their Sabbath. Um, and so, um, but I guess the spiritual application is that, that we all start in darkness and we move into the light of Christ. And so that, I believe, is the imagery that the Lord is trying to teach us all the way in Genesis is that you may start in darkness, but you will uh, finish in light. You know, I mean, that's where we want, that we all started in darkness after Adam, um, spiritually speaking. And so I think there's a spiritual image there about how the world started in darkness and God spoke light into it in the same way that we were all born into darkness because of sin, but the word of Christ brings light. Um, and so that is... That is the order. Right? So, of course, do we cut the light over?